Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem Engage. So in the last episode, we basically had to continue on fighting and escape uh, an onslaught of Corrupted, and then uh, they were equipped with our emblems. So, uh, yeah. But to make things worse, they kept swapping them back and forth, up and down, left and right, so it made it a little bit difficult to see who and who had certain emblems, because some of them were problematic. Like Roy's, um, being able to withstand... Any hit, if it's over 20% of his HP, was kind of uh, annoying, really, to deal with. And there's also whoever had um, a Celicos emblem. That caused problems also because of Warp Ragnarok. So I had to be extra careful. Thank God I, by chance, equipped the um, staffs into uh, Jean because that actually pulled, you know, made things a little bit smoother, but still very, very um, hectic. We also got Ivy... And her retain yeah, her retainers to join our our uh, little crew. So now we have more characters now. So I guess all we could do is just keep moving to the next chapter. I wonder what's gonna happen though. There she is. <laughs> Man. I should have tried to level up more, and uh, I got a relay ticket. Is it really a rally? I don't know. I, I, I'm not even sure. All right, then. I guess first things first to get all the items here and then talk to everyone if they have any new dialogue. That's what Lucina's got to say. Yes. Hmm. Sure. Interesting uh, little detail. Hi. Has anything changed with some of these dialogues? I don't know. Yes. I don't even remember half the time, honestly. Thank you. I'm, I cannot believe she actually joined us like that, Claude. Want to hear something interesting? Hmm. Not right now. All right. I don't know if they have anything new to say. It feels like sometimes they just say random things, so I don't even know if it's worth talking about. Or should I say talking to them? Because it just feels like I'm just wasting my time. I don't know. Wrong way. Silver, sweet. Did I get an- I, I could have sworn I got another dog. I can't remember, though. No, I didn't. Hey! Okay, nothing relevant. Man, I was really happy I was actually right about- working with Etia because she's been really good. So happy I actually devoted some time into her. Oh, there's not. I can't believe I missed that item all the way up there. I don't know why I just don't fast draw. Maybe because it... I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. To I actually like to right look into. around. Yeah, I thought he had something useful to say. It's kind of nice, you know, to look around, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I wonder if we got silver weapons yet, because the game's starting to pick up a little bit on difficulty. <sighs> okay, there's some useful dialogue. I have no... Why does he... He feels like a freaking 
like fighting game character with that attire. Smithy, wrong person. Ah, oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, oh, sweet. This is actually a really good item, but I'm very low on on Hondo right now. But still, definitely here worth buying. Take care. Again, a killing edge is actually really good. I don't like peaches that much, believe it or not. <laughs> I just don't like them for some odd reason. I don't know why, and then and the fuzziness doesn't do any favors for it either. It kind of gets annoying. I don't know, I just don't like the taste. But I do like some pastries that have that a little bit that taste a little bit though. Let me go see what Sami's doing. This should do it, right? Oh. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, so we just get hundreds? If we keep petting him and... Um, and humoring the dog? Cat, bear thing? Whatever it might be? So basically, we the more if we keep him at max, we'll get more bond fragments. That's pretty cool. Alrighty then, I think that's everyone except for uh, Ivy's retainers, which are over here. I wish I had more free time so I could finish this game sooner. Making oh no! Listen, it's Diamant. Diamant, I'm sorry, Mant. <laughs> I have not used this guy, but, uh, I think there's actually characters that are better than him, so I don't think he's as... I mean, he looks cool, don't get me wrong, but i just rather invest in better characters. Thank you. Alright. There's that one other dude, the guy who looks like he's always in shadows, but really isn't. It's just the, the way he's dressed up. Ah, oh, there he is. Uh, Zelkov. Keep forgetting his name. Dang. Uh, I thought she had something else to say. Is he up here? Hello there. Ah, oh, here he is. Dude, even he his attire is so dark. Ah. He's literally shadow itself. I cannot get over that. Pretty cool attire though, and although that's too many belts, I guess. I don't know. Um, the arena. Any anything new here going on? Let's go to the arena real quickly. I don't know, I just, just did that. No new supports, okay. Let me just say something. Gunaka, strength 15, speed 17, dex 20, which is really good. Wait a minute. Wasn't he, like, literally a lot stronger? What the heck? Is 
Isn't that odd? I could have sworn he was doing... He was actually doing a lot better in a freaking map. Oh, maybe it's this weapon. Yeah, that explains it. This weapon's probably just stronger and better. That, that, no wonder he was doing so much more damage. I thought my, maybe Zelkov might have to replace Yanaka, despite the fact that I had already invested in her. So, with the exception of the fact that he's two levels higher and Yanaka had an energy drop, at least I imagine I gave to her. Yeah, I gave it to her. I really should figure out who to give this spirit dust to, eventually. Um, so basically, he still be stronger, but she probably end up being better in terms of, from my the looks possibly, dex speed, everything else being more or less. The, actually, she's better because she could withstand magic, and has better luck. So yeah, Yunaka's still better investment. Interesting character though. Stiletto. So, how much better is a Wu Dao in compared to a Killer Edge or Killing Edge here? I don't know. I guess I won't find out until I give it to someone else. Alright, anyways, let's get some EXP training here. Yeah, you need some. You definitely need some. Before you start falling behind. Today's workout begins now! Uh -oh. You can call me Lady. Anna. I gotta, I gotta one shot her. Oh, gotta kid miss this one. My loss, but your gain. Whew, I worked up a pretty good sweat. All right. Um, not the best level, but at least he got strength. So he, he'll still hit harder. Thank God to that. But come on, dude. At least get, I don't know, Dex or speed. Either or. Louis, Louis too good. Definitely you. <laughs> I'm Lady Anna, the mysterious merchant. I've been observing oh. the way you fight. I might win this if I dodge the tech that is. My loss. God. Your game. This game hates me. Is she even worth having? I don't know. 17 magic, not bad. 13 speed. She's level 17. She's got 20 magic, 14 speed. So Citrine's basically better then. I don't know if I should even have her then. Don't get me wrong, I like her design and everything, but uh, she's no Camillo, that's for sure. She will never be the goddess of eternal night like her. Yeah, I'll send for Camilla any day and day. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. Will you go out with me? What? Bro, she's like eight. You just asked me on a date, then you said you could have been friends. What, what, what's going on? You just literally asked her on a date, dude. What is wrong with you? I don't know. Then again, he's probably from Japan. I don't know what their rules and views were back then. But then again, this is medieval times. So who knows? Medieval times, you could literally do... You could literally have married off to a kid for some stupid weird reason. Something about status and nobility. I wish I had Marth with me. What does she do? Alright, first things first, I guess you. Just to see where you go. Let's have a good match. I'm Lucina. Spar with me. This is nothing. I lost? Somehow I won. I wish I got EXP also, in addition to the, you know. Thank you for the hope you showed me back then. The bonding. If not for you, I might have given up. I only gave you a small push. You'll be carving your own future for yourself. Only one, a little over one third. That one's, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I 
Let's see, where's her level 10? So it's basically better for an archer character, I guess. I don't know. What are, what are you got? Besides, obviously, speed plus two. I guess her speed is rather bad. Let's see what, what Lindis can give her. I don't know why I call her Lindis. I guess that's because that's her real name. I just call, I call her by her full name sometimes. I know it's Lynn, more popularly known. This should be a fun workout. I'm Lynn. Get ready. <laughs> oh, now I'm better than them. Victory is yours. But I won't lose next time. How, My how, muscles deserve a treat after that. How does she have a killer bow but not have a chance to even crit me at all? It's at zero percent. You're so graceful, Lynn. And with a little more training, you'd have muscles on top of muscles. I'm trained in the sword and bow, but I never thought about muscle training. Hmm. Interesting idea. Oh, oh god, this actually could go really well for her. Especially against flying units. That one's a little iffy. I think I might, found, might have found Etia's new uh, emblem, but that I also like Leaf on her though. Leaf's kind of cool on her. And again, I gotta probably think about output. Speed plus three, and what, what does that one do? Alright. I'll give her the emblem and see where everything, everything else goes from here on out. Um, wrong, wrong one. <laughs> Lid, let's go. I guess that's basically it for now. Not much there. Kind of disappointed, really. I don't have no, that much gold either, so that's another problem. I hope I get more gold eventually because I'm running out of uh, resources. I could sell the DLC items, but I feel like that'd be overly cheating. I already feel bad enough for using um, Three Houses Emblem. But it is... I kind of, I kind of feel obligated to use it because Three Houses is my favorite Fire Emblem game and my second favorite game of all time. So it's more of a, like an obligation as a fan of that game. So sorry, you guys, if I upset you. But hey, at least I didn't use it in the last episode, where more or less I had to be restricted of that little feature. So I guess I played fair. Yay me. There's two people over there that I haven't talked to. They might have some new dialogue. Might. Yeah. Yes. Well, you're not you're no longer any longer paired up with her. I wonder what these divine paralogs are, but I might have to wait a little, a little while longer for those. Oh. All the way in the desert? What is that? Is that a paralog over there? Arena of the Gods. What level is this? Ooh. Oh no, that's too hard right now. I'll get... I'll get killed. In the two... Is, I don't even remember what level this was. 
much more appropriate. So I guess in the next episode maybe I'll do the paralogue. Maybe. Let's see, Tula Desert. I guess I don't need nothing, so let's just continue on here. I might just make the paralogue on one episode thing. Maybe. Not sure. But it's definitely for next episode though. Probably. The Sentinels. So, this is Psalm. It's very... sandy. It's a desert. The Queendom's land is covered in deserts. I believe this one is called Tula. And, as you've no doubt noticed, it's much hotter than in Lugia. I fear I may melt. Oh, I'm pretty sure of that. What now, Divine One? We'd better head straight to the palace. I just hope the Hounds haven't gotten there first. During my time in Elusia, the Four Hounds did pay a few visits to Solm. But they came back empty-handed each time, so I expect the palace is unharmed. Thanks, Ivy. Pretty handy having an enemy as a friend. <laughs> I will choose to take that as a compliment. Well, I mean, how else can you really take it? Which emblem ring was entrusted to Solm? The Radiant Hero. Oh. Said to be among the most powerful. Ike, okay. Needless to say, it would be quite a boon. Sounds like exactly what we need right now. Let's get going. I think there's the part where we, we meet those two characters that are dressed like circus you know, people, and I really don't like their attire. Their designs look great, but I just don't like their attire. It's so bad. Kind of makes me wonder what the, um, the artist was thinking. Uh, let's see. Which way to the palace again? Then again... Uh, I guess I should also be talking about Lear's design. Look at look at it. Red and blue, really? Divine One, I believe we passed that enormous rock earlier. You're lost. What? Really? <sighs> All this terrain looks the same to me. I wish I could help. My knowledge of Solmic geography comes only from maps. You literally have a frickin' wyvern to ride on, woman. And you mean to tell me it didn't occur to you to use it for reconnaissance? Wait a moment. Prince Alfred, Prince Diamant. Your nations are allied with Solm. Haven't you gone to the palace before? I did, but quite a long time ago. I don't remember the way. I traveled from Firene. I've got no clue how to get there from Elusia. So none of us knows where to go. <sighs> All right. I'll say it. We're lost. Okay, I mean, what was your first guess? Uh, I'm afraid so. We can't afford to waste time. I wonder if there's a landmark to go by. You don't look like you're from around here. What's with the outfits? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, but I took one look and thought to myself, self, they are lost. And, uh, who are you? Who am I? I'm the guy, here to keep the peace in Tula Desert. Call me Fogato, yeah? As captain of the Sentinels, it's my duty to help people in need. You find folks need a hand, just let me know. Thanks for that. As for myself, I'm the Divine Dragon, from Lethos. Wait, you? Uh, you're telling me the Divine Dragon is here, in my desert? No kidding? Yes. Oh, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. You weren't. There's no need to be formal with me. Didn't expect you to be casual. That's cool. Uh, but hey, what brings you all out to my piece of the world? We're on our way to Solm Palace, but we don't know how to get there. This is your lucky day. Come on, just follow me. If I know how to get anywhere, it's the palace. You don't mind? Of course I don't. You know what's out there? Sand, as far as the eye can see. And I would rather you not have to deal with that. Lucky me mad, huh? <laughs> His outfit's terrible. They could have done a better job with it, honestly. <laughs> well, I guess it's nowhere near as bad as his sister's. Thank you, Fogato. We appreciate your help. <laughs> Don't sweat it. 
Oh, you know what? I do have a quick errand to take care of first. And the sparkly eyes. I'm sorry. It just doesn't suit him very well. An errand? Why? What kind of errand? More of a mission. See, not too long ago, these freaky creatures started appearing everywhere. As captain of the Sentinels, when I get a report about a problem in the desert, I take care of it. Sorry about this. You have a sit, and I'll take you to the palace right after I'm done. Actually, why don't we come with you? We can help. Well, that'd be great. My friends went ahead of me. Let's go meet up with them. And besides all that, he's got a great personality. <laughs> I feel like me and him would actually get along very well. The problem's even worse than I expected. Hey, there they are! Pendrea! Rene! Fogato! You're late! I was starting to think you wanted us to die out here. With any further delay, these creatures would have made a meal of us. Sorry about that, fellas. But hey, I brought help! Help? What do you mean, help? Oh, Pandreo, my pious friend. This is really gonna blow your mind. Hello? I'm the Divine Dragon. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's the Divine Dragon! The Divine Dragon! That's quite a reaction you have there. Love how it took you maybe three seconds to... I guess the best way for me to say is for those words to reach your brain. <laughs> Hang on! What were you thinking bringing the Divine Dragon here? That hair! Like two scoops of sorbet swirling together in the desert heat. Interesting. That's a very interesting pers uh, perspective right there. Hey! Save it for the kitchen! That's a deity you're talking about! Oh, he's a foodie? I knew this would get you too fired up. Divine One, these are my sentinel friends. What do you say? Ready to handle a mission with us? Might as well. Ready. Well, um, they all seem interesting. I wonder how this is going to play out. I wonder if they're any good, actually. Alright, let me first look at the map real quickly. Okay. Oh, one of them's an actual freaking... He's a great knight, okay. So, I don't know if it's already too er I don't know if it's early enough or late for him to actually be a promoted unit. So what is this? Fogato guy. Sentinel. He's got a silver bow. That's actually really great. He's a cavalry. High Priest. Never heard of that class before. Actually, no, this. Alrighty. So these are, these are basically all promoted units for the mo- well, except for him. Interesting. He's got a warp staff. All oh, sweet. Oh god, I'm divided like this, really? How many characters can I use, though? Okay, not very many. I think I could bench him out and give uh, Anna some more EXP if possible. Not only that, but I don't think it's gonna. This, I I honestly believe the Desert Terrain is gonna screw him up, big time. Where's Anna? There she is. I should buy in a, a thunder. I'm officially out of money. Yay. We're bankrupt for the most part. Until I don't know when. Is there anything better I could give her though? Oh gosh, she had a thunder. I'm so stupid. Wait, I had two of them? <gasps> On us. Oh, there we go. There you go. 
Elfire, Elfire. Um, I guess I could give her an Elfire also. Don't get me wrong, I, I love her design and everything, but I don't think she's going to be that good in the long run. I feel like I already have basically my two mages already set up for the rest of the playthrough. I might need a third, but who knows where that goes. Let me see what else here. Is Yanaka on my team? I may need her for this one, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to bench someone else out. I guess... Yeah, you... Sorry, Alfred. Good, okay, good. It's a good thing I have a flying unit here. Oh, God, let me give her a Does she have a... Um... No, she doesn't. I forgot the name of the lance. There we go, Rider Spain. I just want to see how much better the Wudao is in this game. So the Killing Edge... What in the world happened here? I thought the... I thought the Wudao was supposed to be the better weapon. Okay, I'm disappointed. And it's not even better. Killing Edge is actually better, I guess. Whatever. guess maybe it's a... Three houses thing, anyways. Yeah, we're good here. What? Where are you guys? Help! Help! Oh no. Is that a person riding a wolf? Alright, let's do this thing, Sentinels. And, uh, guests. Finally! Time to get this party started! Oh, this Pandora. Pandrio guy is gonna be funny. I will serve up a most deadly dish. And yeah, he's definitely a foodie. Before I forget, watch out for those patches of quicksand. That stuff will really slow you down. Oh, okay. It's quicksand. At least we won't actually, uh, you know, drown in it. Interesting music. Crit, please. Hungry for more. I love you, Chloe. I've got this. Dog on it. Where to? Mason today. <laughs> I don't know if it's my lucky day or whatnot. Go ahead. Yes. Here I go. As you like. I love it. All right, here we go. I hope, we, I hope you crit, dude. That's how I like. It. Sweet. <laughs> I wonder if bone knights are actually broken in this game.
Divine One, it's such an honor. Please, use my abilities as you see fit. I can use my staff to warp you or an ally somewhere far away on the battlefield. That's really useful. He actually took that much damage. Thanks for the business. I gotta work on Anna really badly. So far, everything's going really well. Okay, I gotta be right next to them, I guess. I'd rather actually hit. I take a lot of damage here, oh boy. Great. Oh joy, I love this game sometimes, you know, because it's just so great. Let's try this. Let's see, let's hope she actually makes up for his... Come on, crit, crit. Oh god, this is bad. Oh no, this is actually really bad. I gotta dodge you, that or... Oh my god. Rewind, rewind. Did she actually finish him off if possible? Alright, rewind. They can't do it. For some reason that guy's really tanky. I 
guess. I don't know. Let me see. I guess I could try to use a freaking. You gotta be kidding me, game. Oh, great. I, I thought he could warp further than that. Let's see where this goes. Yeah. Come on, don't be sick too much of movement. Emblem engage. Okay. Is this guy some kind of level one warrior? Oh, okay, it's a little too good, I think. Or us, I would say, I hope I one shot this guy. You were beautiful while you lasted. A spear. What are you doing? Why, why would you even go there? Oh god. I'll do my best. I hope the scene is actually really good. I, I forgot what she does actually. I don't know if that I don't know if that did anything. <laughs> I hate desert maps, I swear I do. Ready to order? We have a vulnerary? Don't die, please. Oh god. <laughs> Dodge. Yeah. Oh wait, wrong person. I thought I was going after the real ETA. Oh, okay, great. More of them. Yay me. This map already looks really bad. Here until the end. I 
in the Divine Dragon. Our bonds give us strength. Oh my god. Oh, these bad level ups are really doing a number on me. Alright, now how do I do this? Good wind. I'm gonna go with the boat, but thanks. Shall we? Can you finish him off? Guess. seconds you guys I gotta take care of something real quickly and I'm a little hungry too <laughs> so I'll be back I'm gonna snack and take care of something real quickly or right, I'm back everyone sorry about that I just got really hungry I ate a pear and an apple yeah I know it's considered a my meal well not my meal but more of a snack does she one shot yeah it does thank god I was not expecting, you know, for, uh, I forgot his name already. <laughs> Whatever you need. See how I gotta do this? Alright, he doesn't reach. Oh, god, I forgot he had physic. I'm so stupid. How far does it reach, though? It doesn't reach very far. That's a problem. He actually reaches me? Oh my god. I don't know if she could take on two hits. Speed 14. I think the speed in this game is... I don't even know, actually. Oh, okay. Five greater. Okay, so I won't get double. That's a good thing. I owe you for that. Andrio, that's a funny name. Alright, nobody dies. Oh no, she's dead. That's bad. Oh, how, how do you expect me to save anyone if they get doubled easily? And more reinforcements. Oh my god, it's actually it's great. It's a great map. Sarcasm.
Alright, how do we do this? Can she double him? She does not. Come on, those two points, really? She doubles him. Come again. And I wish it was closer. I guess... I don't know. Yeah, convoy, let me go look for an item real quickly. So I don't know if I'm gonna... I, I'm not gonna rely on luck and keep using all my items up, like... Or using my, my time... Crystals like that. I survive? <laughs> Alright. Not bad. Just hope she keep she eventually gets uh, you know, strength. There was no way it was gonna survive. Did I get anything out of it? Random wolf, that's pretty cool. I'll do my best. Here we go. Really? I'm gonna have to rely on RNG right now? My god, this game hates me. Sleep now. Oh my god. I take it back, this game doesn't hate me so much. Serious? Work. 
just in case I can't survive. Oh no, I don't, I don't have anything. Never mind. Let's be careful. A right and proper end. Where you lead, I follow. I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> Going after me. This time, victory was mine. <laughs> this is how I save lives. That must have hurt. Oh, that was it. We didn't save any of the villagers, though. I feel bad about this. They really did not make it easy for the villagers, though. <laughs> they were going to die either way. And they all got doubled. At least I got 11 sort, though. Sweet. Now, the real question is, who do I give it to? You know... Thanks. We're doing all the way out of here, Citrine. <laughs> <laughs> Not much, I mean... I don't know what... I don't know. I feel like Citrine could get scammed. Aha! Is he actually trying to butter me up? What I mean to say is... <laughs> Such an angry character. I saw something. For the most part, nice. is that a camel over there? <laughs> Interesting way to look mm. at it. He's not wrong, though. <laughs> Why do I believe that? <laughs> right. Ah, oh, another dog. Sweet. Got a moment? Is that everyone? Oh, there's some characters I'm missing. 
<laughs> That's right. It can't be. <laughs> what makes you say that? Thank you. That's yeah, everyone. Nice going. You really showed him what the Divine Dragon can do. Now, to Solm Palace. Stay close. I'd hate for you to split off and get lost. Again. Thanks, Fogato. This ought to be interesting. It's been years since I visited the palace. Years? I thought Solm and Firine had a good relationship. Our countries are allies, sure, but that doesn't mean our families are close-knit. In fact, out of Solm's whole royal family, my mother and I have only met Queen Sephoria. What? No one else? Nope. Not the royal consort, not the crown princess, and not her brother the prince. That's strange. I never met them either. Same thing happened to you, huh? I may have forgotten the way to the palace, but I remember well what happened there. It was a strange scene. The queen received us alone, with no one attending her. When we asked to meet the princess and prince, she told us they weren't there. She told us the exact same thing! I asked when they'd be back, and she said, no idea. It didn't make sense. If you're royalty, you can't leave your castle whenever you like. I got the feeling she was hiding them from us. But why? Were they sick or shy? I wonder. <laughs> shy? <laughs> that would surprise me. Everyone we've met here has been so friendly. The queen is too. There are just some things about the royal family that don't add up. Let's be on guard, all right? Got it. I love how Fogato just stays quiet about the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I know his background. We're here, Solm Palace. Now all that's left is asking those guards to open the gate. Thanks for leading the way, Fogato. I don't know how we'd have gotten here without you. Of course. Just another day in the life of a sentinel. I'll be sure to commend you to the Queen. Anyway, now we'd better be on our way. Huh? Uh, Fogato? What are you doing? Talking to the guards! What else? Does he have a meeting with the Queen as well? Beats me. Maybe he's here on some kind of sentinel business. Fogato! Wait for us! I'm home! Home? Welcome back, Prince Fogato. I'll open the gate. Yes, let the gate be open! Prince. Did that guard say Prince? Uh, unless we misheard him. In exactly the same way. Thanks for waiting, folks. Fogato, we're a little confused. Are you the Prince of Solm? Did I not mention that? <laughs> Nope. Uh, no. You didn't. Whoops! <laughs> Egg meat face! Right, let me do this properly. I'm Fogato, captain of the Sentinels, and the Prince of Solm. Welcome to my family's palace. So, um... Is he an idiot then? I don't know. I just think it's funny he failed to mention that he's a prince. <laughs> oh god, another colorful character in our little... Group of oddities, I guess. Come on in. You wanted to meet Mom, right? No, seriously. Some of the characters in my group are kind of weird. Mom! Visitors! Some. What is happening? I didn't realize he was royalty. Who would? Prince personally going on patrols. Not something you see every day. I wonder why we never met him before. He doesn't seem sick. He's certainly not shy. It's a mystery. Anyway, let's head in. Don't want to keep Prince Fogato waiting. Oh, 
Oh, we got some interesting music here. <laughs> Stolen, miserable, torn apart from your friends. How delicious. Lady Vale. Zephia, tell me, what are the Divine Dragon's forces up to? They pass through the shadowy moor. It appears they've arrived in Sol. So they did not return to Brodia. They're gathering more rings. Good. Can we go after them, Lady Vale? I'm itching for a rematch. Patience, Marnie. If we wait, we can steal Solm's ring from them along with the others. Oh, smart. I'll be a good girl and wait then. You are a treasure, Marnie. <laughs> Isn't she just the pride of the four hounds? <laughs> you two really heap on the praise. That's why I love ya. The more I see Marnie, the more she reminds me of, um, uh, she, she belongs in the world of Alice in Wonderland. Maybe like the Princess of Hearts? I don't know. <laughs> You're such a child. Praise is for chumps. It's much more fun to be punished. Worry not, Chris. You will soon have all the agony your heart could want. Man. What's the ring again? T for teen? Okay, good. That's what I like to hear. The perks of the gig right there. Dear God, I cannot believe this is what we've been resorted to in terms of writing just to make the story seem somewhat a little better, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and you, Mavir? How would you like to be rewarded? Feels kind of desperate, really. Nothing for me, my lady. This guy. <laughs> you won't even say my name. How cold. Uh... He just seems so blank. Look at that. That's all right. For now, we wait. We watch. And then, when the time comes... <clears throat> Lady Vale? I've been awake for too long. I must sleep. Here are your instructions. Zephia? Take charge. As you wish. Man, they're they're a bunch of weirdos, man. I swear to God. Is there another cutscene, or is this uh, it? Okay, that's it. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna call this an episode, you guys, obviously. I'll do all the talking, and then, you know, just he be on the world map. I may try to grind um, certain characters to see if they're worth the investment or not in the, in the future. Maybe if I were to do maddening mode on this game, I might know who and who I should keep and who I shouldn't. Uh, but yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, everyone.